welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today I am heading off to France. I am so excited to be starting my almost month long journey uh, today. So today we are flying from Vancouver to Montreal, Montreal to Paris. And then once we get to Paris, we are heading to Dijon. So we are going to be there for a couple nights to explore before we meet up with the Amicello, which is with Emma Waterways to do the essence of Burgundy in Provence. So after that cruise with Emma Waterways, my aunt and I are then flying over to Athens, Greece, where we will then meet up with the Seaborne Encore and sail from Athens to Istanbul, Turkey. So really excited to take you along on this journey and let's get going to the airport. Let's go. Once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders Some close stuff, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights After quite a few delays, we finally arrived into Paris Once we cleared customs and picked up our bags We made our way to the train station and took the train into Paris to the Bercy station Where we caught our train to Dijon the train journey was about three hours long and very scenic. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. After 30 hours of traveling, we both crashed and set out early the next morning to explore Dijon. After a bite to eat, of course. Paul is a popular boulangerie in France and it was great for a fresh cup of coffee, quiche and a croissant. We then walked by the Notre Dame de Dijon where the facade has so many gargoyles and around the side you can find the Owl of Dijon. They say that if you touch the Owl of Dijon with your left hand and make a wish, your wish will come true. It's been a tradition for many since the 16th century and the Owl is now a symbol of Dijon. There is also an Owl Walk that you can do. You can pick up an official tour map for a couple of euros at the Dijon Tourist Information Centre for a self-guided walking tour of this beautiful city. Dijon is also famous for, well, Dijon mustard, of course. There are a few Dijon mustard shops that you can visit and taste some very local recipes. One of my favorites was a truffle mustard. We also passed by one of the oldest homes here in Dijon that is still standing, which was built in 1483. Some of the original word working on the facade still exists.
The Dijon Museum of Fine Arts is located in the old palace of the Dukes and Estates of Burgundy. It is completely free to enter, however, if you choose to do the optional guided tour, it does cost 6 euros per person should you choose. It is open every day of the week, except for Tuesdays it is closed. So I have to say I am so surprised by Dijon. I absolutely love Dijon, it's so beautiful. The architecture here everywhere is just absolutely stunning. So if you are looking for something a little different than Paris the next time you visit France, I highly suggest coming to Dijon because it is gorgeous. Oh, you're enjoying it so much. So much to see, so much history. Um, yeah, really enjoying it. So let's continue on exploring Dijon. With Dijon being located in the heart of the Burgundy region, it's no wonder that there are several specialty wine and food stores dotted throughout the city. Dijon and the Burgundy region as a whole has about 30 Michelin starred restaurants and many Bib Gourmand restaurants, resulting in one of the densest concentration of gastronomic excellence anywhere in the world. Dijon also has these cute little electric buses that were free to use at the time of my visit. After a full day of exploring, it was time to relax at a cafe and enjoy a local glass of rosé. We had dinner tonight at Le Alsatian, which is famous for flamme kutsch, which is a Alsatian specialty similar to pizza, but with a flaky dough. For our first flamme kutsch, we shared a traditional one that had creme fraiche, onions, bacon, and mushrooms. We then had a second one that had creme fraiche, caramelized onions, roasted duck breast, and tomatoes with a mental cheese. We finished our dinner off with a glass of rosé and profiteroles. It was so good. I highly recommend eating here if you visit Dijon. Hi friends. So it is the next day and now we are going to explore the market here in Dijon. So the local market here uh, was built by the same person who actually built the Eiffel Tower. So really, really excited to show you what the market looks like. It is only open four days a week. So yeah, let's go check it out. Dijon Les Halles was built in between 1873 to 1875 and was inspired by the plans from the Eiffel Company. Alexandre Gustave Eiffel, who famously designed the Eiffel Tower along with many other buildings, bridges, and monuments, was actually born here in Dijon, hence the nod to his designs. 
The Dijon market is open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are a busy market day because there are many additional stalls set up outside and we were here on a Tuesday and it was quite quiet with only a few select stalls open. We had breakfast at a local cafe called Mon Ami Suzette, where I was able to try my very first galette with ham, cheese, and mushrooms, followed by a crepe with Nutella. We then made a final stop into the Maya Mustard flagship shop. I really enjoyed my time here in Dijon, France, and would love to come back and spend even more time here exploring. It was time to head back to pack and grab our luggage to catch our train to chalon sur saone to meet up with our Emma Waterways river cruise ship, the Amicello. Join me in my next episode as I highlight our experience boarding our ship and our first day visiting Bone with a special Burgundy wine tasting in the afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks again.